Welcome to Tucker's Pond and Predatory Plants. Today I figured we'd come out, we'd take a look at the pond, we talk about the carnivorous plants that are out here, take a look how they're doing. Today is late May, uh, May 19th, 2023, and uh, always I love starting off with the bog barrel. So, <clears throat> this bog barrel has about seven different varieties of Saracenia in it. Uh, you can see, see that they are in full flower right now. The flowers are absolutely gorgeous. We'll get up here a little bit closer to some of them. You've got some yellows, some reds, some ombre colors going in there. They're absolutely gorgeous. Some of the traps have now opened up. So again, late May, May 19th. Uh, down here at the bottom, there are some small sundews, Drosera filiformis. One growing over here, one there, one here. All right, so those are volunteers. Uh, I used to have uh, one in here a couple years ago, took it out. There's another one growing right down there. All right, and we've got some uh, small seedlings down here, some more right there. Uh, I just tossed some seeds in there. Uh, I believe it was last year, maybe the year before, and they just took off. So again, nothing planned, just threw some seeds in there to see what would what would happen. Um, last year, none of the flowers uh, didn't let any of those seeds fall, so I harvested all the seeds out of them. I'll be doing the same thing again this year. Now, right up front here, so the one right here coloring up a little bit, that is a Saracenia Red Sumatra. So it's going to get a little bit more color. It's not fully in back there behind it right over here that is a Saracenia Hank Saracenia Hank that's from us uh, Saracenia Northwest one of the plants that they bred um, again that will also turn much darker red so again we're just early in the growing season and the plants they're up they're looking gorgeous but they haven't fully colored yet so you're gonna see a lot more reds coming into them um, more red and whites in the leucos that are coming out but most of this is different varieties of flava here in the middle you can see there's some leuco in this that is a saracenia white sparkler all right so that's going to have some more white and a little bit of pink in the edges on it gorgeous plants doing great the barrel is about uh, three years old and i just absolutely love the bog barrels I do nothing for them in winter except keep some water in the bog barrel. All right, it's gorgeous. All right, coming down here. All right, this rock, this carnivorous rock, is also about three years old. So the first dog, uh, or the first, sorry, the first uh, carnivorous plant I ever got is the one you're looking at right here. It is a Saracenia. They called it a feist dog. I also got this one from Saracenia Northwest years ago um, it looks like it's a form of rugelli uh, you can tell because of the the red in the throat here plant is doing great um, down here at the base we've got some sphagnum moss uh, some uh, more volunteers of uh, drosera filiformis this one right here is growing right out of the rock all right the other ones are growing in uh, the soil at the base of these uh, beautiful Saracenia. Uh, we put another hole in the rock over here <clears throat> and in this one we've just got some bird's nest sundew uh, also known as Saracenia intermedia Saracenia intermedia. All right that's what we got growing out of that one. Thought I heard a frog. <clears throat> All right moving on. All right. All right another carnivorous rock here doing well. All right, so this has again inside of it. Oh, let's look down here at the bottom. You've got a Venus flytrap growing down in there. There it is. Small Venus flytrap that overwintered there. I mean, you see how high the water is up on the rock. Um, sometimes we have trouble with the flytraps when there's that much water, but this one is uh, growing great. Some more bird's nest sundews. And uh, that Saracenia is a hybrid. It is a Wilker, Wilkerson's White Knight crossed with, uh, I believe, Johnny Rocket. 
right? Gorgeous plant. We got three more holes up here to put stuff in. Haven't done anything with them yet, but sitting right on the edge of the pond. Um, this plant is uh, about two years old, right? Hasn't flowered yet, but uh, it is uh, starting to grow really nice. And starting to fill in the rock <coughs> over here. All right, so this is more of a bowl, a carnivorous bowl. You know, that is a yellow-eyed grass that's in there. And we got a nice purpurea in here. Plenty of room to put something else. Um, the purpurea was put in there last year along with the grass. I didn't have anything else in there. Um, you can tell it's bare. You definitely need to put something else in there. I'll probably be doing that later uh, next week. All right. Pond is looking great. So again, we're mid to late May. And hey, there's a nice bullfrog sitting there. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. We're sitting here talking and he's just hanging out, loving it. I'm bring it back out here to the pond. Uh, a lot of people have trouble keeping the ponds clear. Uh, mine's got a little bit of a green tint to it, but I had one algae bloom early in the year. Uh, we took care of that, but typically if you got a lot of good uh, plants in the water, and you can see we've got a lot of water lilies in there. There's some, some carnivorous plants in there. There's some uh, alvarado. There's some reticularia uh, growing in there. But if you have a good balance, the water will stay relatively clear. Uh, back in the back, you got some arrow plant. Uh, we've got some black flag iris. Uh, we've got some uh, cattails. They're dwarf cattails, so they're not going to get the full uh, cattail on it. They're going to get like little round balls of cattails on them. Uh, heart of canna growing there. Hardy canna lily growing there. So that's going to be nice and beautiful when it puts up its flower stalks. Looks like the black flag iris is starting to put a butt. There went the frog. He didn't like me reaching out over him. But that black flag iris is going to be putting up some uh, flowers real soon. All right, moving over to the waterfall up top. You've got some gorgeous black taro, right? That is not hardy. So every winter I take that inside, grow it inside, bring it back out. Uh, black taro is that, you know, those plants I just mentioned are just pond plants, nothing carnivorous about them. Uh, but they just make the ambience of the pond so much nicer. All right. Love the waterfall. Splits in half up top. Little cave back there. It's gorgeous. The frogs typically hang out, you know, back over there on the rocks to the uh, right of the hardy cannon to the left of the waterfall they hang out now i do have pond lights in here you see the cords i got to get them hidden a little bit better so i just really put them in lately <clears throat> now this rock here is one of my favorites actually and it's just got some gorgeous saracenia filiformis red so i've done a few postings on this it's filled out there are bugs all over it. I'll get you close up here to it, see if it'll focus for you. But a lot of really nice uh, tendrils up. Sometimes I call this my upside down octopus. But it's eating good. It's growing good. There's even, look, down in here, hard to see, but right in there, there's a Saracenia seedling. No clue where that came from. I didn't put any Saracenia seeds in there. All right. <clears throat> Moving up, there's another black taro. And back over here, this rock, <clears throat> I love it. It's not getting enough sun. Um, the creeping Nancy, I'm sorry, creeping Jenny is what this yellow stuff is. It's starting to overpower it a little bit, so I'm going to have to clean it out. Then I got three uh, beautiful Saracenia in there. Of course, all of them just now coming up. So the one on the left, that is a Saracenia purpurea cross minor. All right, the one in the middle is a Dana's Delight. And that one on the right got the uh, deformed uh, picture there. But that one is a seedling that I grew a couple years ago. And uh, it, it just planted in there. So it's an unnamed seedling. Uh, I can't tell you the, the genetic mix on it. But uh, if the hood flares open almost a little bit like a Mardi Gras kind of hood. All right, and then I, you know, I got a couple rocks down here that I haven't planted, but uh, 
I got to pull that one out. It's got a couple holes in it to plant. But overall, the pond is doing great. Um, this is, of course, a man made pond. You can tell that just with the way it's uh, set in here. Uh, above ground, got two pumps in there. One uh, going through the filtration system over there and back over to the to the uh, waterfall. And then the other pond actually is coming up. It pumps up through all this creeping jenny. So there's a bog filter down in there that's filtering things as well. All right. But pond's looking really good. Carnivorous plants are doing great. Bullfrog is enjoying it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right. I'll get uh, something back to you here in another week or two. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay boggy.